Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today we've got a uh, video that answers a pretty common question. Uh, it's probably going to be a short video because it's a kind of short answer. Uh, why does the Navy wear camouflage now? During practically the entire career of Battleship New Jersey, dungarees were the uniform of the day for the enlisted sailors. Uh, dungarees are basically jeans and a button-down shirt. It's very similar to the type of uniform that one might wear if they were uh, working a civilian uh, job. Like any of these technical jobs, like the hull technicians who are doing the plumbing work on the ship or the machinist mates and whatnot, uh, if, if they were in a civilian job, they'd probably be wearing a button-down shirt uh, and a pair of jeans, essentially. So. One of the important purposes of the military is to prepare service members for life after the military. So wearing a uniform like that that is similar to what you will wear in the civilian world uh, really helps you rotate into that, in much the same way that uh, in my high school we had to wear Oxford button-down shirts and slacks uh, with the intention being that we would work in the business world one day. The Navy chooses to switch to a uh, camouflage uniform around 2010, right around the same time that the other services are switching their camouflages as well. That is when the Navy adopted the NWU, or Navy Work Uniform, as its only authorized work uniform. Uh, that is the infamous and now more or less defunct aquaflage, or blue digital camouflage scheme that the Navy wore uh, for a relatively short period of time. The main intention among the military during this time period was to switch to a digital uh, camouflage pattern, i.e. instead of the large curvy splotches all over the uniform that helps break up your silhouette, it is more of uh, square patterns. And this is for specifically fighting peer adversaries as drones and uh, satellites and things like that are becoming more common on the modern battlefield, the thought was that it, looking at a digital picture of a group of sailors or whatever, it will be more difficult to see them in all these digital sensors if they're wearing a digital uniform. So the entire military, the Marine Corps, the Air Force, the Army, they're all developing their own camouflage patterns along this thought line of using pixelated patterns to help break up the silhouettes of people on uh, digital screens. Traditionally, the Navy wears a blue uniform. So, the original Navy camouflage was a series of blue patterns. It makes absolutely no sense on a ship. There's very little blue around the ship, but it is less designed to block you from visual views as it is from digital like I just said. Uh, plus, sailors on a ship are not like individual fighting units. They are sitting at a weapons console, or they are working on an engine, or like they, they are part of a larger unit. It doesn't really matter. Most sailors are not assigned to ships at all. Most of them are assigned to bases on land all around the country, and, and around the world for that matter. And so, those are the sorts of people who it makes more sense to put into digital camouflage. And of course, switching to one uniform makes it cheaper on the whole and means that one congressman's district is getting all of the, um, is getting all the contracts to make these uniforms. So you've got at least one vote for this. Despite showing up on television shows that were used for Navy advertising, such as Last Resort and The Last Ship, uh, these uniforms were not much well-loved uh, especially given the perception among sailors that uh, if I go overboard in a camouflage that camouflages me against water, how will I ever be found again? Even though uh, the uniforms are supposed to fade to orange if they come into contact with salt water, um, they weren't well liked. And the current Navy uniform is actually more of a, a, a green and tan camouflage pattern which again, makes significantly more sense for those sailors who are uh, serving as security guards at a Navy base or working on an aircraft on a, on a runway where an enemy satellite's flying overhead or you know, any, any of these sorts of things. On board ships, 
most sailors just wear coveralls as their working uniforms anyway, the, the solid blue coveralls, because they're more practical for their job. If you want to watch our video on how flammable the uh, digital camouflage uniforms are compared to the older Cracker Jack uniforms, check the link in the description below for a previous video we did. What's your favorite Navy uniform? Let us know in the comment section down below. Which of the armed services has the best uniform nowadays? Canada has switched to one uniform for their whole armed services. Do you think the United States should go in that direction? Let us know in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue donating to support the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.